So how do we dimension a whole feature? It's really pretty simple. You'll notice up here on the on the ribbon, this is where we place the views on the on the drawing paper. So when I when I placed my front view, my current view, my uh, top and isometric view, I used base view and then I did projected views off of that, right? Remember that? Well, if I want to put dimensions on the part, remember that we come over here to annotate and we simply use the dimension tool to dimension the dimensions, uh, the thicknesses of lines and widths. However, if we want to dimension, which we do in your project, if we want to dimension the specifications of these holes that we've made, we need to come over over here where it says hole and thread and it's under what's called the feature notes hole and thread by the way you'll notice that my holes all have these center marks we put center marks on parts let me just delete that and I'll show you we put center marks on parts on holes by coming over here to this feature here this is center mark and we simply click on the circle boom and there's my center mark you need to put center marks on all of your holes okay You'll notice that I have some basic dimensions. I'm not worried about in your assignment, I'm not worried about the lengths. Okay, if you just want to give me, uh, I do want you to dimension and make the part the way that it is here, but I'm more concerned about the, the holes. And this is the, um, this is the purpose of the assignment to make, to, to know how to make the holes and now to document that. So what you want to do is you come over here to hole and thread on the feature notes, you select it, and then you simply click on the circle that makes the hole and drag it out. You can put that wherever you want it. I just want you to make sure that it's not nothing's overlapping. That you use correct dimensioning, uh, the dimensioning, the dimensioning techniques that we that you learned before. And I want you to bring these hole notes out like this. Okay, that's all you have to do. Click on the circle, drag it to where you want it. Click it again, and it lets you select another circle. You should be able to put all the dimensions off the part. If you have to put them on top of the part, you can, but that's not preferred. Okay, so that is how you put a whole note onto your drawing.